In this video, I will provide a quick demo of the Task Manager Advanced Excel template. You can find a link to this template in the Premium Solutions section on the right sidebar of inzara.blogspot.com. I have the template open and this is what it'll look like when you open it for the first time. And the first thing you would do is to enter the start date of your period. So for example, I would put 1st October 2014 and then the error message will go away. We can change the status values as we need. For example, if I don't need these values, I can just delete them and I can probably delete this one. And then I say, okay, I want 50% complete in the green, light green color. So I'll just leave it as it is and I will remove this. So I have only four values. These are the colors that they will take. You cannot change the colors directly here though. And you can set whether you want the status to be pending or not. And in this case, we're saying if it's completed, we should not call it pending. But let's say I want to change this and say if it's skipped, I still want to count that as a pending task. And the next thing we would do is assign specific people. So for example, we would say person A, person B. So for, this means that we have uh, we can assign the task occurrences to these people. Make sure that we don't leave a space in between and don't type in something like this. Well, X, the template will not consider person D for the um, for the calculations because you have a blank space in between. So make sure that you know you don't have a blank space and we enter it this way. We can have up to 25 names. Now we're going to talk about the frequency types in the next page. So this is all we need to do in the settings sheet. Let's go to the create task sheet. This is where we are going to create the recurring tasks. So what we're going to do now is let's enter task ID one and then task name. Let's just enter it as task one. We need to provide a start date. So I'm going to do 1st October 2014. We have seven different frequency types and the first thing is one time, which just means that it's going to happen only on one date. It does not require an end date. And then it, you don't have to enter any of these columns. And all you have to do is to say, activate this task. And now we have created a task, a one time task, and I'm going to go into the report sheet. And now you can see that there is a, the task ID and it's due on 1st October. It is flagged as pending because we haven't given a status to that yet but we will update the status later. For now, it will be a pending task occurrence. If I go to the dashboard sheet, I will see that there is one pending task occurrence and that's due on the 1st October. If I would like to see it on the calendar view, I can just enter 1st October and now you will see that task one is due on 1st October, but there is no status value yet. So there is no color coding. But once we update the task, then you will see the colors appear here on the left of the task. Now let's go back to create tasks and continue creating the other types of tasks. So task two, name it as task two, put the start date as 2nd October. And then we're going to choose every nth day. And you see that the red border continues to appear because for this every nth day task, I mean, we need the end date to be provided. Otherwise, template doesn't know what to do. So you need to provide an end date. So I'm going to say, let's say 10th October. So what we are saying is from the 2nd October to the 10th of October, we want this repeated every nth day. Okay, but we have to provide the template what N is. So let me just put, for example, two, and let me activate the task. And then now let's go to the report sheet and see what happens. So 2nd October, as you can see here, is a Thursday. And we are saying every two days, I want this task to appear. So 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, and 10th. That's what I would expect. So I'm going to go here. Now you see that the task is repeated. 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, and 10th. Great. So now we'll go back. And if I want to change this to 1, which means I want it to happen every day, then I go back here, I see second, third, fourth, all the way, every day. And I'm going to leave it as two for now. Every second day, I want this task to be 
be occurring. And this one, let's use the third task type, which is, let's do daily. And I'm gonna do daily. And I will choose, again, 10th October. In this case, when we choose daily, we have to provide the weekdays. For example, do you want this from the 3rd October to the 10th? But maybe we don't want the Saturday and Sunday to be included. So what I will do is to put one for the weekdays where I want it to appear. So I will be putting one from Monday through Friday, but I would not put anything on Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm going to activate the task. The end column does not apply to the daily type. And so I've activated the task and I'm going to go to my report sheet. And now I see that task three has been created on third, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. So fourth and fifth were excluded. And that's because fourth is a Saturday, fifth is a Sunday. And we have told the template not to include Saturdays and Sundays. Great. Now let's go to the fourth type of task and name it as task four. We will start on 4th October and then we will provide weekly as the frequency type and we need to provide an end date. So I'm going to put 31st October for now. And then when we do weekly, we would have to provide the template which day of the week. So for example, 4th October happens to be a Saturday. So let's say I want to give every Saturday, I want this to reoccur so saturday 4th 11th 18 25 so those four days i expect it to happen so i'm going to go here and see and now you see that it's 4 11 18 and 25 4 11 18 25 if i want this to occur only every second week let's say all i have to do is to put two here now when i go here i will see it's only on 4th and 18th and that's because 4th we're starting on a Saturday we are skipping the 11th because we told that I only wanted every second week so it skips the 11th it goes to the 18th and then it skips 25 that's why you see that this task has only reoccurring on 4th and 18th and you can change this yen to three weeks if you want that to happen only every three weeks but let's say, for example, I want this both on Saturday and Sunday. You don't have to create a new task for that. All you have to do is to say, one, I want it on a Sunday. And now you would expect fourth and fifth to both be selected. And then we will skip the 11th and 12th because we are saying don't do it every week. We only want it only every second week. So we will not see 11th and 12th, but we will see 18th and 19th. Let's go and check. So task four, we get it for fourth and fifth, Saturday and Sunday. We will skip a week in between and then we will do 18 and 19. So we were able to create, you know, multiple kinds of task occurrences just by selecting the weekday. And you can do it for all the seven days and then it becomes a daily task. But it gives you a lot of control to choose how your task occurrence um, varies by the weekday. So that's our fourth type of frequency. Let's do fifth one. In this case, we will do monthly. So I'm going to choose 5th October and then let's choose monthly. And monthly, the way monthly works, we selected 5th October. So it will try to, you know, do it 5th October, 5th November, and then goes on. So let me just put 31st December here. So what I would expect the template to do is 5th October and um, 5th November and 5th December. However, 5th October happens to be on a Sunday. So if I want to make sure that I want the monthly to recur on 5th November, you can see that the November 5th is actually on a Wednesday. So they, don't, they all don't happen on the same weekday. So the recommendation is that you choose all the weekdays here. You're telling the template I don't mind which weekday this happens on, but I want it to actually be on the fifth of every month. And then you don't need to put anything in the end column, just activate the task 
And now I would expect to see for task five, 5th October, 5th November, and 5th December. So those key occurrences have been created. Let's go to the next one. Task five. This would be, let's choose the nth weekday of the month. And this is pretty straightforward. So let me just choose nth weekday of the month. So we need to tell the template, let's say I want every second Saturday of a month to be selected. For example, so I'm going to select Saturday and then I'm going to say second. So every second Saturday, I want it to be the task to occur. I'm going to activate it. So from the 6th of October, if you look at it, the second Saturday of October is on 11th. The second Saturday of November is on the 8th. So let me go and check the report. Task six. Did I just type in task five as the num name? Let me just change it to task six so that we can clearly see it. So task six happens on 11th, 8th November, and then the 13th December. And that's because 11th October, 8th November, and let's check December. So second Saturday of December is 13th December, and that's why we have it there. So it's pretty clear, second Saturday of every month between these two dates will be selected. And let's say I want second Saturday and Sunday, all you have to do is this, and now every second Saturday and Sunday will be selected. Go back here, you will see that 11th and 12th of October, 8th and 9th, and then 13th and 14th of December. So that's how that works. So let me go to the last type of task and we'll name it task seven. It'll start on 7th October and then we will be selecting last week of the month. So in this case, we want Excel to tell us if it's the last Saturday of a month or let's do last Wednesday. So I'm gonna do Wednesday. I'm gonna select Wednesday as one and then you don't need to put anything on the end. Uh, let's just activate it. So I would expect the last Wednesday of October, last Wednesday of November, and last Wednesday of December to be selected. Last Wednesday of October is October 29th. So let me go and see here. Task seven, October 29th, November 26th, 31st December. So this could be handy when if you just wanna know the last weekday of a month rather than first or second, you want the last one. So this is the option that you would choose and you don't have to enter N, but you have to select the weekday. So these are the seven possible frequency types. And as we covered, um, the weekdays can be controlled for some of them. And also the N could help you to control how often it reoccurs. So, and then you have to definitely activate the task. Otherwise the task will not be appearing. For example, if I don't activate this task and I, let's say I delete it, delete the Y, then task seven, will not actually appear as you can see here task seven does not appear in the report we go to the dashboard and now you can see that there are a lot of tasks here and they're all pending task occurrences all the ones that we created which are in the past for example anything that is before 17th of october which is today and if it doesn't have a status of completed then it will get listed as due or pending and the calendar view shows, for example, in the week of October 1st, these are the specific tasks. We haven't updated the status yet. So let's quickly go and update the status for a few so that we understand how this works. Generally, when you start, if you don't know the task ID for something specific, you can use this drop down menu. Let's say I want to update the task one, select task one, and it will tell you the task ID is one. So come in here choose one and you can also use the drop down here and then it automatically puts the task name so don't don't edit this one come here and then choose a due date and you it'll automatically give you only the due dates that apply to that specific task so in this case it was a one-time task first october and now i can update the status and we only have four possible values here so i'm going to select completed let's say we completed the task and then um it was assigned to person A, and these are all optional columns. If you want to enter, you can enter them. Now let me enter the second task. So 
task ID two. It pulls me back the task name and I want to enter 2nd October, I skipped and you can assign it to somebody else. And usually you would assign it to a person first and then your status might just say, you know, blank or nothing. And then after the person completes the task, you can come in and say completed and then put a completed date for that specific occurrence. And let me choose one more and then we'll look at how the dashboard is updating now. So 3rd October, and I'm going to say this is unknown and this was assigned to somebody else. Great. So let me just choose person C. Now I'm going to go to the report sheet so that you can see the information that we are entering in the update task sheets will come through and then get stored here so that you can use this as one place where you can see the latest and all the information that you have. And let me go to the dashboard and now you see that there are certain tasks even though for example the task one is not here anymore because it was completed so it has a green color which says completed and the task two was skipped which is blue and you can see that as blue if you skipped it it still shows up as a pending task occurrence and then task three the task is unknown status so it's red and the other task we have not updated yet and so they don't show up but as you enter more information in this table, then the dashboard gets automatically updated and the report also gets updated. Please make sure that you enter in the row that's after the end of the table. For example, we already have three rows. You can see the colors here and then you type in the next cell and you can choose anything else if you'd like, but any other task ID and you can choose, for example, second, and then you choose on the 4th of October, I that task is still 50% complete and the person worked on it was person A. Now I go to the dashboard, I see that this is now with a light green color, which is 50% complete. So the dashboard would get automatically updated as you're entering information. And finally, on the last section here, this is where you can see summary statistics and we already selected 1st October as the starting point, but you can choose, for example, 31st October as the end. And now you should see the data gets updated because it's only one month. You see only one bar, 15 tasks. You know, we don't have any status values, but we have only updated status for a few. So they start appearing here. One completed, one skipped, 50% complete. So you can see that information. You can also see by person A, B, and C. How, what are the statuses of their task assigned to them? And that's pretty much all the dashboard does. It gives you a quick overview of where the status is and you can choose custom date range and then you can look at it by month by month. For example, if I select December 31st, then I would see October, November, December, how many task occurrences, what are the status breakdowns? Similarly, person A, B, C, what are the person, um, the status breakdowns. So that's what we have in this video. We covered how to create the tasks and also how do you update the tasks. And then you can view the updates in the dashboard and also in the report sheet, whichever is your preference. And this template again is available on inzara.blogspot.com. If there are any further questions, please leave a comment on this blog post and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video.